Good day everyone, compliment of the season. I welcome you all once again to Shitu's Mathematics class. Before the commencement of today's lecture, I urge every one of you to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button, hit on the bell to get the notifications anytime I drop my new videos. So now today, we want to look at first order differential linear equation by integrating the factor integrating by by integrating factor yeah so now we will be solving linear equation using integrating factor that's what i'm trying to say here now before we can solve the problem here i'd like to introduce to us what is actually or to give us the form the general form of linear equation that is when you see any form of equation you could easily relate it to a general form. Are you getting it now? So now from there if I have if I have equation like this that is d y dx plus p of x y equals to q of x. So now if I have equation like this, I call it what I call it general form of linear equation that is differential equation because we can see the differential coefficient there so now the next thing to know about this is that the coefficient of y here that is p of x and what we have at the right hand side must always be function of x purely understand no mix up of what of variables there once again, this and this must always be function of x only, or they are, can be what they can be constants. That is ordinary number. So now, and also this dy ds we have, you can see that we did not have what we don't have anything at the back. So therefore, the coefficient of this differential is what is one. That is unity. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So now, if all these conditions are satisfied, so you can now conclude that this equation is what is linear equation. So now I want us to look at this equation and look at what we have here. Is there any similarity? Can we compare them? So very well we can do. So now let's see, we have this and we have this. So now you can see that the coefficient of what of dy dz is what is unity is this one. And also, the coefficient of y here is 5, ordinary 5. Now I told you, it's either it is what? It is function of x or what? Or constant. And also, look at this one. Now, this is my q of x, which is, which is ordinary function of x. So here, I can have my p of x to be what? 5. Then q of x to be what? q of x to be e to power 2x. So now, before I go... We want to be solving this linear equation by what by integrating factor. Why I have my integrating factor denoted as this that is if to be equals to the integral that is e to power integral of what p of x dx. So that is the formula for integrating factor. So now we are going to be using this integrating factor here so to solve this equation. So now to solve this equation now. So what can we actually do? Therefore, we need to get the integrating factor first because after that, we now use it to multiply through this equation. Then we try to integrate it and we get a solution. Y equals to F, that is F of X. I guess it. So that is what we are going to get. We need this solution, Y. And because of this GY, differential we have here, so we need to integrate to get the solution. So now we have our e f to be equals to e p of s ds so that we don't need to go far any longer because you can see that we have p of s a and p of s is already given here so we have e to power 5 dx equals to now look at this now we have the integral of 5 dx so the integral of 5 dx will actually give us what 5x therefore we have exponential to power what 5x that is e to power 5x 
So that is my integrating factor. Now, the next approach is to, us, to multiply through, that is, multiply this integrating factor through this equation. So now, we are going to have e to power 5x. I don't know, are you getting what I'm doing? d dy dx then plus e to power 5x 5y equals to e to power 2x dot e to power 5x so now i want you to look at this very well you can see that i have e to power 2x here i have e to power 5x so from the law of indices so if i try to bring this one together definitely since we are in the same base and they have what we have power, so the power ourselves to be added, therefore we have 2x plus 5x will give us, will give us 7x. Therefore, this can be e to power e to power 7x. So now, the next thing to do is to write this left hand side in a condensed form, that is writing it as well as differential coefficient. So we write differential coefficient of this. So to, have, to write differential coefficient of this, it will be d of ds that is the product of the function y and what and the integrating factor e to power 5 of x be equals to e to power 7x now i don't want you to get confused here because we are just trying to write this in what in differential coefficient so now if you try to get the derivative of this i get it so we actually return back to this at the left hand side so let's quickly do that for these two legs so we have y e 5x then we want to get the differential coefficient of this therefore we are trying to if you try to what's it called if you try to differentiate this one we keep this one constant we are e to the power 5x are getting it. Or you are differentiating with respect to x, but we differentiated what y. Therefore, we have 1, you understand? We keep this one constant. Then you follow it with what? dy ds because this is implicit function because it comprises of two variables, y and x, then plus. So you integrate this one, you keep this one. If you, I mean, you differentiate this one, if you differentiate this one, we have what? We have 5 e to the power what? 5x you keep this one why are you getting this now so if you look at this now what we have here is same thing as what we have at the left hand side here can you see that so definitely this is what we are going to write this in form of this so that we could be able to use our integral what we call sign to neutralize this d over dx i don't know am i communicating so from there so what's the next thing to do so since we've written this in a condensed form that is in a differential coefficient like this, therefore you try to integrate both sides. If you try to integrate both sides, the integral sign that is d dx of y minus e raised to power 5x equals to e to the power 7x. So this sign will neutralize this. So we are going to left to be left with y e raised to power 5x equals to e to power e to power 7x i'm getting it now so now from there so what's the next thing the next thing to do because we are looking for y so you try to make y the solution formula so we have e to power 5x integral of e to power 7x plus what dx don't forget this dx I get now so from there so what's the next thing to do so we are going to have one over e 5x i get in it to integrate this one so you try to what is the differential coefficient what is the, diff, the derivative of the power here it's seven b so we have over seven i get in it then you write everything back e seven x then plus what plus c because c is the constant what constant of integration so we have what y to be equals to try to open this bracket if you try to if you use this one to multiply this one i will have e 
7x over 7 raised to 5x and plus this multiplied by this you have c over what e5x are you getting now so from there what is the next thing to do we are going to have e you can see e to 7x then e to 5x so definitely from the law of indices we are going to have e we are going to have e to 2x divided by what by 7 plus c e raised to the power minus 5x if you try to bring this one up from the law of indices so this is actually my what my solution that is y i get it so y is now equals to e to the power 2x divided by 7 plus c e to the power minus 5x so that is that on how we solve the problem relating to this so another problem can encounter maybe whenever you can see let's say you don't see uh, what they call this from the beginning the equation given to you is not what the coefficient of this one is no unity that is no one maybe you have function of x or you have five or anything there definitely you need to divide through by the coefficient before you can relate it towards to general form of linear equation that we have so now maybe in the subsequent uh, what's it called problems i will be solving so i will try to showcase that so that you guys you see what i'm trying to fix out so if you have any question concerning what I just did, or you are confused somehow, so do not hesitate to ask me. Please and please do not also hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell to get the notifications whenever, whenever I drop my new videos. Thanks. I share it to your people, your learning colleagues, so that they can enjoy the better of this of the class. Thank you.